Hello everybody, this is Gary from Phoenix Perennials and it's a beautiful day in May. It's sunny, it's hot. I should have worn shorts today, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not ready for it yet. I gotta break out those shorts in my closet, but at any rate, it's beautiful, it's sunny, and it's the height of gardening season. So the nursery's looking great right now, so I'm just gonna take you on a kind of walkabout tour of the nursery, look at our different sections, and have a look at the field, and just see all the gorgeous stuff that's coming up. So come with me. So here we are, it's the entrance to the nursery and uh, the whole front area of the section is our display area so we bring lots of stuff up here that looks good seasonally. Here is our new display of staff picks. So my Phoenicians love their plants, uh, they're big fans of gardening um, and so here they get to suggest to you what some of their favorites are. Continuing on in the nursery, we have another table or a shelving unit where we try to highlight new plants from production. Here at Phoenix Perennials, we grow about 70 to 80 percent of all of our perennials ourselves on our production side, and uh, here we highlight new stuff that's just come out of production. Up front here, this is our veggie and herb section. So we set this up seasonally. There's a whole bunch of basils and all kinds of stuff. This sets up seasonally during veggie season. So we have lots of heirloom tomatoes, cool greens, a full range of herbs, including lots of interesting things, and uh, lots of just lots of fun edibles. At the end of the veggies and herbs section, we have a section for small fruits and also a few fruit trees. So in here we have things like grapes, we have tayberries and raspberries and thornless blackberries, we have honeyberries, and we also have one of the most popular, we've got blueberries, lots of different kinds of blueberries. Also in this area, we have a select group of interesting and unusual trees. And then beside this section, we have our vine section. So we have tons of clematis, of course, also lots of Virginia creepers, jasmines, honeysuckles, wisteria, and lots of other interesting vines. You can see that there's lots of color right now, including, if you were here or if you watched the previous video um, with Raymond Evison, we've got a whole bunch of brand new Raymond Evison clematis. Just came in stock today. Continuing on, we enter kind of the main display area and this is just a mix of different tables highlighting what looks good right now in the nursery. Just off to the side of this section we have our ground cover section. So here are the ground covers. There's all kinds of stuff from normal uh, right up to actually some unusual and interesting kinds of ground covers that you won't see elsewhere. And then in this section, where we're just highlighting mixes of things, we have, uh, we have roses, some neat roses from David Austin. Here we have all kinds of brand new cutting edge, not so purple cone flowers. And just a whole bunch of different, bunch of different fun things. Calla lilies, this is Calla Hercules, which is a really large growing calla lily. A whole bunch of our new crops of coral bells have come out in all kinds of technicolor colors. And then in this area over here, I kind of think of this as our uh, kind of uh, architectural area. We have all kinds of hardy 
close to hardy and non-hardy succulents. So we have tons of agaves. I'm a big fan of the century plants or agaves. Excellent for drama and succulent foliage. We have shelves and shelves of these. We also have a ton of Semper Vivums, the hardy hens and chicks. And then we have a whole bunch of close to hardy, but maybe not quite hardy succulents like Echeverias, the Mexican hens and chicks, Calanchos, and other interesting succulents. And here's a whole bunch we don't even have table space for because uh, there's so much good stuff going on in May. You've got to look at this beautiful Japanese maple. This is Ukigomo coming out with variegated leaves and pink highlights. I love it. I think I'm going to take one home to my own garden. Just got to figure out where. Uh, over here in this shady area of the display area, we have a whole bunch of brand new and cutting edge uh, hostas. There's ones like Strip Tease and Ginsu Knife, Purple Heart, which has red stems with the red dots creeping up into the leaf, Blueberry Muffin, with uh, also with red stems, Dancing Queen with the bright gold new foliage, uh, all kinds of stuff. Ghost Master, Moon Split, Margie's Angel, Frozen Margarita, which is uh, uh, fragrant. And here's a really cool one. This one is called Praying Hands, Hosta Praying Hands. We have a whole table of Daphne's. Usually we have about 10 or 12 or 15 different kinds of Daphne's, which are great for fragrance in the uh, late winter, spring, and summer gardens. This little area here is our woodland treasure area. So on this table we highlight all kinds of interesting and unusual plants to uh, add a little botanical intrigue to your shade garden. So we have hardy ground orchids, um, we have dodecathions, we have trilliums, we have some pretty fantastic cobra lilies, favorite group of mine. And then in this section adjacent, we have our fern section. So I love ferns. Ferns are fantastic for the shade garden, for texture, and there's incredible diversity of ferns out there. So here is where we highlight all of our ferns. And last but not least for our display area, let's go into this shadier part here. Here we have our recipes for a fabulous pot. These are done up by Shelly. And so what she does is she puts together a fantastic plant combination. And then around that pot, she puts the ingredients for that pot. So this is something you can definitely try at home. You can pick up the ingredients, you can pick up all of them, or just a few elements from that pot, and you can uh, take them home and uh, plant them up yourself. So that's one recipe, and then here's another recipe. This one's fantastic. Shelly is just so talented at uh, plant combinations, and all those subtle, just the, the, the subtle little uh, design elements that playing off of leaf texture, leaf size, leaf shape, and of course leaf coloration. And actually, there's Shelly now. Hey, Shelly! Wave at YouTube! <laughs> there's Shelly. She's making the display area look fantastic. And uh, if you're lucky, you can even come in and talk with Shelly yourself. And so that was a tour of our display area. In the second video, part two, I will give you a tour of the field, what lays beyond the display area. I'm Gary from Phoenix Perennials, and happy gardening.